we're now going to look at the main hardware used for processing on a system. So really the first one that we need to understand is the central processing unit, okay? And this is where most processing takes place. So it is used for processing data, okay? And we need to understand that the CPU is the brain of the system, all right? It does all the thinking of the data that is going through the system and transforms that data physically, okay, into information. It is the hardware, the physical device that does that. Now, fast processors, the faster your processor, the more rapid calculations you can do. So that is why processing technology is always updating and people are trying to always get the faster processor, okay, and obviously there's things such as multiprocessors as well. Okay, and sometimes CPU can interact with other processors on a system in order to process data. Factors that will be affecting the processing speed within a system and how we can increase it is firstly through increased clock speeds, the speed at which the processor operates, and then increased bus capacity, the amount of data that can be transmitted and processed at a time. Okay, so those two factors help make our processes faster. Now, in order to do processing on the, on the system, although the CPU is the main processing device, there's obviously another piece of hardware that interacts with it. And we mentioned this before when we're talking about analyzing, and that is random access memory, okay, which is kind of a storage location as well. So it's both storage retrieval, but it's also used for processing. Okay, it is the storage for data that has been sent for processing. Once again, that live data, that on-screen data that we are interacting with, editing, using, okay, it is stored in RAM, okay, and that is where it waits for processing. Okay, RAM assists in the processing of data. It does this through providing a storage location for data and instructions to be sent prior to processing. The larger the capacity of RAM, the larger the file size of data and the increased amount of data that can be stored for processing, okay? So it's stored in RAM, okay, and it gets sent into the CPU for processing. CPU processes it, sends it back for RAM. This process is known as the fetch execute cycle. So the CPU works with RAM in order to process data through the fetch execute cycle. And we'll go more into that in the next lesson, all right? But basically for processing, these are the two main hardwares we're talking about.